Hey guys, welcome to another episode of a low level one shot boss challenge and let's get straight into business. Somehow I didn't die here, I mean these, these guys they always jump. Please know that I'm still soul level one. Uh, I could, you know, easily do these guys in melee, but I decided that I'll just try to go soul level one as far as possible. All right, that's uh, Pinwheel going down. He's pretty easy boss. He doesn't have a uh, much HP. It's easy to take him down even with weapons, with close range weapons. Uh, in today's episode, I'm gonna show you my progress in the terms of the equipment you know uh, i'm gonna show you how i farm the drakes which first i thought it would be impossible but i found a easy way to do it actually easy and pretty quick way to do it and safe way uh, so you're gonna see that and you're gonna see a fight my fight with quilag which is the most difficult fight i've came across in this in this playthrough uh, what you just seen was just for my amusement. I always wanted to burn those rats all together. Now I'm gonna kill this channeler. I don't like channelers, they really annoying with their magic missiles. And you probably know who we are going after. Yes, we're going after this alligator. Uh, he's a very intimidating boss. Very scary looking, however he's not as difficult because he's quite slow and predictable. I need to get his tail, I need to get the uh, Dragon King Great Axe, I believe it's called. It's a very useful weapon in this playthrough and now he, he's gonna get it. seen uh, many of the suicide one shots uh, <laughs> there's gonna be more coming uh, regardless I've got two points and we're gonna move on to the dragon scale farming I came up with this meta method when I failed to do it with melee, melee uh, I wanted to you know keep those 10 humanities but it was proving very very difficult so I decided that I'm gonna spend uh, a few of my points, uh, it's three points I'm spending to get my dexterity to 12 so I can use a composite bow. Uh, this bow I upgraded to plus five fire and I'm gonna use it uh, together with the fire arrows and the red deer stone ring. Another equipment needed for this method uh, is the dunk pies and the white moss clump you know the the one that uh cures toxin so first you poison yourself with uh, dunk pie uh this is uh so that your health goes down to 20 or below 20 percent so uh, the red deer stone activates you know first you go by down the left you start shooting this this drake uh already because there's no point just waiting there for the red team stone ring to activate now you wait until it activates and uh, you cure yourself and start shooting this guy this one will engage you regardless how far you are uh, the rest of them if you position yourself well they won't and what you aiming for is the head definitely aim for the head and just aim for about 200 damage and as you can see yes yeah i just had shot them all and uh, there we go i even got the scale A 
at this point I already managed to uh, farm 29 scales so I was uh, just one scale away which you can find in Ash Lake anyway and uh, yeah this is what it is I, it takes about two to three hours to do that all right back back into action I actually forgot about this guy so let's take care of him now At this stage of my playthrough I have reached a breaking point uh, because I cannot continue without leveling up. So I'm gonna show you the materials I have farmed from Drakes and from the Dark Wraths in Anno New Londo. And also I got this Demon Great Axe. Uh, how did I get it? Hmm. Well you will see. I've heard all about you. I'm Shiva of the East, captain of the brigade. It is worth noting that uh, to be able to do this you have to join the Forest Hunter Covenant. Hello again. So this is how you trade with Shiva, for those of you who never done it. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna level my strength. I'm gonna level my strength all the way to level 34, because with strength 34 I can use any weapon two-handed with a uh, string requirement up to 50. Finally, in the Ash Lake, you can uh, get here from Blight Town uh, if you go through the Great Hollow. If you make it all the way down, whatever you do, just do not sign into any bonfires here. It is probably probably possible to get back up, even if you do, but there will be there will be a pain. I can imagine there will be a pain. All right, this is the last ancient dragon here. He's hidden in the depths of the Ash Lake and he's got a tail, so we're gonna, we're gonna take it. First I was very excited about this weapon. I thought I'm gonna make a use of it in uh, some of the fights, but it hasn't proved very useful. Now's the time to give out those scales. And it's time for my Dragon Torso Stone. Yes, this is uh, also a breaking point in a game. Once you once you get it, once you manage to get it, uh, it's needed for the upcoming fight. Pretty much, if you if you do not go melee, it's probably only this fight that you you need it for if you wanna do it in one shot. This is what it is. Uh, to my disappointment, uh, it doesn't give you any armor. It's kind of a berserker armor uh, because it doesn't give you any protection. It just gives you that shout, uh, with which gives you extra 20, 25, or I believe 30 percent of damage uh, for about five seconds only, though. So the timing is critical, and it's not really to be used in uh, everyday life, I would say. Now this is the worst ever fight I've been through. I'm not even gonna tell you guys how many times I died, lest I would discourage some of you from this uh, challenge. 
I mean, this this fight is is is, is horrible. It's a breaking point. It's a breaking point, and I believe is the most difficult fight uh, throughout the whole challenge. So watch watch how it ended up. Now you saw it, uh, Quilax final down, I got impatient and I wanted to try the plunging attack that I saw in Ludovicians and Bloody Mess's videos and uh, it happened, so I said it for one point only. Uh, here I'm trying Hydra with the Fire Tempest, I wanted to try that, uh, but however it didn't connect twice, here I was really hoping it was gonna connect. It didn't connect twice and the Hydra always pulls out, pulls off when you hit her. So nope, uh, the sword, I did ask her to engage the buff, so buff. Perhaps the time has come. In the end I decided to go heavy and just smash her into the ground. So there we go. Come forward. You shall feel my luck. I was very excited here, and I didn't know that. Yeah. I got too excited there. I was checking whether the Hydra is actually dead, and this guy just jumped on me and and killed me. But I was anyway. I was really happy because this was a fight I was afraid of. Uh, during one of my test runs I failed about 30 times I always got killed but here it took me about seven I think so it wasn't that bad <laughs> this is the only time uh, I made use of the dragon greatsword uh, bought some stuff from the princess dusk and got my dusk crown I wanted to melee him but I didn't pull off the plunging attack well so I had to settle for burning him alive or rather burning him undead I should say With this kill this is the end of this video so thanks for watching and I'll see you hopefully soon